you promised me a story. Hey, Cash. Uh, please, just want to know how you are. Mr. McDermott, you should leave. Hey guys, welcome to the JW on Talk True channel. So we've got an, another amazing movie. Uh, it's called The Debutant. And this movie is about the Jehovah Witnesses struggle day by day, how to be able to please the um, the elders and to follow the governing body rules, man-made rules to please God. So here we've got a perfect, amazing movie regarding this young girl and how all the troubles that she went through with her family, losing her father, losing her mother, losing everyone around her just because of love. So let's not wait anymore and let's have a look at this amazing clip of this movie. You promised me a story. I'm not going away with this one, am I? Okay, so I'm 12. I'm the only kid in the group. I'm wearing my Tom and Jerry swim shorts. Vintage. Go on. I remember I couldn't wait for it to happen. I got it in my head that if Armageddon came while I was still queuing, not baptized, it would have been like game over, you know? But the relief when I finally got baptized, I'll tell you. I beat you two by two years. I was 10. I think I just wanted to make mum happy. And dad too. And were they? I think so. All I wanted back then was to make them happy. It I don't think I was old enough to have a real relationship with Jehovah, you know? Hey, Cash. Hey, please. I just want to know how you are. Mr. McDermott, you should leave. Please. Dad, please leave us alone. I love you. I'm proud of you. You did the right thing. I know. Tell me everything's going to be okay. Meg, love. Everything is going to be all right. Jehovah knows your heart. Just tell the truth and you'll be fine. Dad told the truth. That was different. Was it, though? Off you go now. The sooner you go, the sooner it'll be over. I'll be here when you come out.
We're here to help you, Meg. I want you to remember that as we go through the meeting, okay? And I know you can only see me and Rory and Ollie, but trust me, Jehovah is right here as well, right now in the room with us, okay? Thank you. The purpose of this meeting is to establish the facts, ascertain your attitude, and if possible, to help you rebuild your relationship with Jehovah God, as per Proverbs 28, 13. The one covering over his wrongdoing will not succeed, but whoever confesses and abandons it will be shown compassion. At this time, you have an opportunity to make a statement. I spent the night with Sam. Could you elaborate on what you mean by that? We... Did you have sexual intercourse? service. Thank you. I'll just leave these over here. Yeah. For when you're awake. <laughs> See you after school. Love you chicken. Did this happen? Home. Mom was away. How many times did intercourse take place? Once. Was oral or anal sex involved? M Meg. Our job is to establish the extent of the sin you've committed and to take appropriate steps to protect the cleanliness of the congregation. Where did you touch Sam? Where did he touch you? Did you use protection? No, we didn't. Are you pregnant? I don't think so. Did you have an orgasm? Did Sam ejaculate inside you? Or did he remove his penis before then? No. No. What? Meg, we need you to answer these questions. What does that mean? I, I don't understand why all this detail. Then Joshua said to Achan, My son, I implore you, honor Jehovah, the God of Israel, and make confession to him. 
Tell me what you have done. Do not hide it from me. Hmm? Do not hide it from me. Who started the behavior that led to intercourse? I can't answer that question. You don't know or you won't say? I, I can't answer that question. Did you plan to have sex with Sam? S Sam... He was trying to help me. I felt guilty. Because I miss my dad. And he was trying to comfort me and it just happened. Thank you. I know you. I've watched you grow up in this congregation. I know that deep in your heart you feel sick to your stomach about the sin you've committed. I know that you are disgusted by it, as you know Jehovah is disgusted by it. Aren't you? It was a sin in the eyes of Jehovah, I know that. I failed to live up to his standards, and for that I'm truly sorry. And you admit it was repulsive behaviour in his eyes? No. It wasn't repulsive. Think your words through, Meg. I know I disappointed Jehovah. But I love Sam. And I think he loves me and what we did was innocent and just loving. Meg, we're trying to help you here. But you're not making it easy. If we can't establish that you're sufficiently remorseful, we will have no choice but to disfellowship you. No one in the congregation will speak to you again. You'll... You'll be an outcast, like your dad. Is that what you want? If you get disfellowshipped, it will affect your mother standing in the congregation. But she's done nothing wrong. She's already lost your dad. If you get disfellowshipped, she'll be all alone. Is that what you want for her? You talk about being a loving shepherd all the time. You talk about gathering the lambs in your arms and carrying them close to your heart. But here you are asking me all these horrible questions and threatening my mum. She's only ever been good to everyone. Why are you doing this? Those whom Jehovah loves, he disciplines. In fact, he scourges everyone whom he receives as a son. Is your mum not coming back tonight? She's gone down to court to see Granddad. Maybe I should go, then? See my dad every time I close my eyes. I, I have this fear that if he turns up again, I'm just gonna throw my arms around him. I just miss him so much. Oh, chicken. You know you're doing the right thing, right?
with Jehovah's guidance, we've come to a decision that you were to be disfellowshipped. Do you have any questions? What's going to happen to Sam? We have not yet made a decision regarding his case. Can I go now? Of course. I was honest, like you told me to be. Thank you guys for watching this video and let's have a look what we can find for the next time.